I think his presence might make all the difference for this team. He's got lightning fast reactions and uh, a coolness under pressure that allows him to make the big one-on-one -on -one saves. He's also very reliable under the high ball or when he's dealing with crosses and I'd expect the whole defence to play with a bit more assurance with him in place. Yeah, I'd have picked him too. No doubt the fans feel much the same way. Van Dijk. Oh, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. He's left his man. Tried to play it through. Uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. That's a throw. Chance to cross here. He just whacks it away. Uh, more than happy to take the muscular approach. Big chance! He's got away with one there. A chance that's created through very good grafting. Did well to get in the face of his opponent. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Jordan hits one! And for a moment, time stood still. You lucky boy, you lucky, lucky boy. Giving the ball away like that is usually punished. Fabinho and that's been leave it clear that's a throw ball's loose who's getting there he's gone for it that has certainly tested the keeper oh that's a sparkling save absolutely sparkling his reflexes were ultra sharp Timely intervention. And that has been clubbed away. Here's the cross. They didn't manage to get nearly enough into the box. And that speaks of little ambition. Looks to thread it through. Opportunity for Arsenal to break. And no Bamiyan! That's a cracking strike, and it may have stunned the palms of the keeper. And it's Salah. Liverpool are on a great run. Five wins in a row. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Roberto Firmino. Firmino! Same again, same outcome. They're just lacking a cutting edge, Peter. And while that's fairly obvious, the rest of their attacking play is actually quite good. And it's hoisted clear. That's not going to make it. Henderson needed to come up with a better ball. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery wasn't. They can re- Has a pop! It's a carbon copy of the previous miss. Well positioned to make that interception. Suarez. Partey. A mixture of good defending and indecisive passing. No progress.
Tierney finds himself back in the starting side. That's an untidy challenge. Free kick given. Gets it back. Mohamed Salah with a long pass. Firmino. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Aubameyang. Fabinho battles to win it back. And it's Henderson. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Whipped in. Leno catches it safely. Deftly done. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Obama Yang. Adrian can pick that up. First 45 minutes are up. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Well, the goal attempts are coming thick and fast, but so far there's nothing to show for it. I think the manager will be pretty happy with his team's performance. He just needs a little more craft and guile. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still nil-nil. Here we go again. Liverpool can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Arsenal have come to the defence of their manager after he came in for some stick regarding some of his decision-making. Yeah, but he brought the criticism upon himself by making substitutions that didn't really make sense. They added confusion when he really needed cohesion. Cedric Suarez. Partey. A nice touch. Just needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Cedric Suarez. He's gone for it! 
Cedric Suarez tries to clear. Played into the middle. Cedric Suarez drives it forward. What and money! It's anyone's ball. Well, that wasn't too dissimilar to the previous attempt. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Up to meet it! And he's there to clear it. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. You have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. Mohamed Salah. That looks a good ball. Partey. Offside that time. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Hoists it forward. It's got through to him. And the shot! Oh, that was nice, but not quite the end product required. Obama Yang did very well to get himself one-on-one. -on -one. Now he's got to figure out how to beat the keeper. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Now it's Mane. Henderson. Arsenal have plenty in the middle. They've planned to defend the aerial route and will do so with numbers. Gets into a dangerous position. Van Dyke out muscles him. And it's Henderson. Mane and Mane! He's been off try. A more than decent attempt, Peter. For a change in personnel so we have a double substitution going on here Arsenal have it back and they can go again Jota gets away from his opponents Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Gomez cuts it out. Henderson tries to get it forward quickly. Origi has a hit! Really well taken goal! That could turn out to be a huge, huge goal! Liverpool are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. And when the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that play. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction.
so we have our breakthrough. Look, I just think they've kept at it and got their reward. Now they need to hang on to it. Tierney. Schuller goes looking. And that has put pay to that. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Tierney, has he picked him out? Obama Yang, he gets past his man. Just brushed off the ball there. Arsenal need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. Jota looks to tries a shot. <laughs> Liverpool probably could have killed things off, but they should be okay here. Arsenal have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. And here's Oxlade Chamberlain. Ford shows there will be three extra minutes. It is just a question of running down the clock now. What a chance! He scores! We thought it was over! It's all square once more! He was urged to shoot, and he duly delivered. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. All square. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Passion and panache and perseverance and in the end parity. A really good game to watch. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Liverpool can always take more positives from a result like this. Yes, there is some tidying up to do, but some real promise too. So that's it for today. Thank you.